was in the previous multiplayer video, so I thought that we could do a, a bit of a map tour, taking a relaxed, a relaxed look through, uh, through one of my favourite maps, and it's an absolute classic. Uh, we are at the uh, the main entrance um, at the sort of I think what that'd be the east side of the the plane. Here we can see some British police cars and police vans, as well as a a fire engine there with its its lights. I'm hoping that that is relaxing and not uh, sort of strobe light inducing. And you've obviously got the through my scope you can see there what I imagine to be the control tower uh, I am playing as one of my favorite operators which is Maverick and he is using the M4 uh, I don't can you inspect your weapon on on this no uh, I can do a bing and I have thrown my my drone which I didn't actually want to do, but I've got the M4 here, and I've, that's melee, and I've got this pistol here, with just the iron cross sights, uh, on my M4 I've got a, a grip, uh, a vertical grip, and a, and a sight, and yeah, obviously Maverick, one of his cool abilities is the the gas, the gas canister, the gas canister, the gas, 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 gas canister. Um, but yeah, let's get into the plane. Obviously, it's been grounded because that engine doesn't look too healthy. I'm a big fan of this map. I do like both attacking and defending. I can't tell him I crouched. No, uh, there's a lot of for visibility however you can't shoot out of them so spawn wise you are you are protected but here we are at the top front of the plane um, they very kindly left the uh, the doors open for us which is very nice um, but they have barricaded the entry which is not as nice of them uh, what does that say please lock the we want to go inside the plane so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use use our device to make uh, an entrance for us perfect we're gonna reload that so now we enter into the second floor front all way it's a very bougie plane I, I think it's meant to be a take on Air Force One some nice artwork here. We've got some camels uh, in the Egyptian desert there with the, the pyramids of Giza in the background. As we see there's some ruffled papers and some suitcases. And as we make our way through this is the executive office. So this is where you know, a lot of important decisions are made. You've got the, the crest there I can't read what it says, but they look like griffins with uh, a bundle of arrows. And it says in velvet glove, but we can't quite see what. Actually, I wonder if I go... No, okay, that'll just get rid of the, the gin bottles, fair enough. Uh, and then it got a bit of a library here. That actually looks like, a, oh, it's Shakespeare. This is the, the, well, I think that says, uh, Venice or Vulcan, the Venetian merchant, or the merchant of Venice. We have some books here, um, is that on RTSD or PTSD? Interesting. Here we have the main desk where you can click clack on the keyboard and, uh, yeah, probably play a little bit of, yeah, Minesweep. And uh, obviously, you've got a box of Kleenex there for 
if he has sniffles or, or she has sniffles at Quality Street or if uh, the in-flight entertainment goes down and uh, yeah, you need an emergency. Okay, so moving here, we've got some files, uh, credit card references, client education, uh, trust, interesting. But as we move back into the main part of the, sort of the front hallway and the front of the plane, just exploring it a bit more, it is a really, really cool map. It's uh, a very CQB, a close quarter combat map for sure. So you definitely want to be using your angles and height. Uh, but here we have a meeting room. Uh, this is a reinforceable wall, uh, but fortunately it's not been reinforced here. You've got some nice plush, 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 plush chairs that uh, yeah, people can sit in while they have their while they have their meetings. Uh, and again, some more of these files on the left hand side. What's really cool about these um, these walls and uh, Mavericks uh, thing here is his ability to, to cut tactical. Uh, oh, interesting. I I'm erroneously I didn't realise that, uh, that they did this because I'm pressing recharge or reload before I've used a full gas canister. You actually lose the remaining rather in games, you know, say if you, you've got 10 bullets left in a 30 uh, round magazine, um, when you reload it just stops up the 20, whereas uh, this is doing the format where you'd lose those 10 for a fresh mag, interesting, um, let's see if that happens with the pistol, oh, I've not actually fired any of the pistol, but yeah, Maverick's really cool because you can get, you can get low, and sort of catch uh, catch the defenders off guard. Um, there you can see um, enemy cameras giving them access to the front hallway. Uh, some more artwork here. Looks like a, a wintry scene in a, a blustered uh, gale. You can see you've got down, downstairs there, which we'll get to, but first we enter the so this is where the in-flight food and beverages will be stored. It looks like they've got some pretty industrial sized fridge freezers going on. A uh, picture of a, a car, a fire extinguisher. You've got a calendar. So the 14th of April. Uh, ED. I'm not sure what ED means. Um, and you've got a presumably like a schedule. As you make your way into the, the kitchen, you can see a whole host of the sort of UHD um, sort of eating cabinets. Um, you've got your, your coffee machines there. And as we sort of have a little look around, you've got your know, trolleys there. Uh, and again, uh, do not open in flight. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I wonder what's in there. And you've got the same calendar. Sort of schedules. Is there anything in here? No, but presumably I was going to say don't open uh, mid flight. No, uh, no smoking. There's actually a top level as well, but we'll, we'll just check out the back of the plane first. Um, so we get more stairs downstairs. Uh, you've got a changing room. Again, you've got a breakable flooring, so you're able. to maneuver quite quickly in between levels uh, but we'll get there we'll get there shortly don't worry here we've got the executive suite where the bed has been turned over for oh look there's the hostage oh i wasn't actually expecting you i thought i'd disabled it uh, i think yeah we're gonna leave you there mate um Uh, you just stay there while I finish off this video. 
see out onto out onto the wing. At the start, you can see um, people where they spawn, but you're unable, as you'd imagine, it's bulletproof glass. So this is the staff section. So this is where the um, the peasants come to come to sit on their flight. Yeah. And again, ah, okay, we've got the the full the full quote here. The Iron Hand in Velvet Glove, mm, Jazzy. Um, a lot of dead space here. You've got the overhanging cabinets. Um, but yeah, nothing too much. Yeah, again, more artwork. This of, uh, of a fella, I believe. You've got, what is this, a security room? Yeah. And here you've got a press section. This is quite cool. This is where the again the plebeians come to come to sit. Yeah, press section. They've got what's this? Just this is a bathroom apparently. Uh, like I say, because they they are the press, uh, they can just go uh, in a corner on the floor. They don't need any um, sinks, uh, sinks, showers, or um, toilets. And here you've got the the back of the plane. Just there, you can see um, a bit of a walkway which you can uh, climb up over there. Can you actually go up again? Oh, yeah, okay, let's go to the. Oh, I didn't know you could do this actually. Oh, this is really cool. I didn't actually know you could do this. Did they update this to this map? Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so here we are on top of the plane, and we are in the server room, so this is where the electronics uh, and all the different wirings and machinations are, as we continue to make our way through, you can see here there's been some server damage, or a pigeon has had a laxative and uh, caused chaos on database infrastructure. I'm just making up words. Mainframe, matrix, uh, glitch, Java. Uh, as you can tell, there's been a lot of uh, damage through here. You can access this through a ladder as we make our way through server room B. Um, again, you can sometimes get some firefights going on here. This is usually where attackers will make their way into sort of the areas that they want to uh, attack on the on the second floor because of the ladders, because of the access points that you see here. Um, you don't typically get a well. It depends what sort of defender you're playing. If you're playing as a roaming defender, then you you may come up here. But as we make our way through here, we can actually go to the cockpit. So this is where the cabin staff uh, live. Uh, get no, I uh, presume there's a door there for cabin staff. Um, and here we enter the flight deck or the radio cabin. Oh, I thought that was an actual person there. So this is where, um, yeah, flight um, the pilots and the crew are able to communicate. A lot of dials and not a lot of uh, screens on here. Interestingly, um, and I think yeah, you can also access uh, outside uh, the second floor from the cockpit, which is pretty cool. And here um, again, right, concentrate on the flight. Uh, they've got a phone where they can sort of ring. Uh, you've got the, quite a nice sort of tan, tan coloured control deck, which is pretty nice. Uh, and here, uh, yeah, you've got the, the view, that's actually, it seems like quite a big um, view for a cockpit, usually it's quite uh, quite limited. Um, there you can just see some birds that are generating and then flying off, so there they go, oh and they're back. That's clearly a very quick uh, migration period. So what we're going to do now is now we've seen the top and the middle part, we are going to take you down to the sort of the first floor or the ground floor, depending on where you're from. So in the UK, the, the foot, well, what you would think is the first floor, what we call the ground floor, um, but in the sort of states and presumably elsewhere, it's the first floor. <coughs> 
metric and imperial uh, dilemma. So if we come to the back, uh, which is sort of at the east end of the plane, which I believe is actually where we started. If I... Yeah, okay. That's fine. So we're now in the cargo hold. So this is where a lot of the storage elements are. You've got some uh, lifeboats here and some emergency seats. Uh, I've just got briefcases because you, know, you always have briefcases. You've got emergency fire blankets and some supplies. You've got some first aid kits. Um, that's where you make our way through the first aid station and into the luggage hold. Uh, lots of kegs. Uh, yeah, it's recently St. Patrick, so I'm sure they might have full of Guinness. Lads, lads, lads. They've got a washing machine, two washing machines, which I think are a bit wild. Uh, it's currently set to, well, I can't actually read what setting it's it, it it's on. What does that say? You've got a warm wash, extra hot cold, yeah, all the usual shebangs. Um, which is quite cool. Uh, if there is this a no, it just looks like a I don't know. It kind of looks like a like a grill or just a um, it's an interesting shelf. I thought it was going to be one of those. Oh, what do you call them? You know, um, uh, dumb dumbbells, dumbbell lift. So this is the surface corridor. So this is where oh, more storage. Here we go. Okay, so we've got some art here, some vases. Some colourful stuff. Um, if, what if it's heading to the British Museum? Uh, I've just bolted, which is quite cool. Here you've got a, a deer. Uh, what is it? A doe, which is a female deer. He's got all these monkey footprints. I hope it's not me. Is it me? Am I the. No, I, I didn't think it was me. So. Here we enter more cargo hold. Um, some codes there. No idea what that pertains to. Um, anything interesting to see? Got more cameras. Okay, so that's the cargo hold. Really, nothing to do uh, too much to um, to shout about. And, and that's the map, really. You know what? Let's let's go get. Uh, hostage. I'm not sure if I put on the settings so you could actually kill the hostage. Um, well, we'll find out. Okay, where are you? I hope he's been able to watch the TV. Pshu, pshu. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay. Right, let's go. You're my escort. No, I'm your escort. There are too many escorts. Explains all the tissues. Do, do, pshu. Okay, let's go. Square to let go. What if I was Kate Winslet? Wouldn't have to think twice about that. R.I.P. J.D. Okay, gonna go. Gonna storm this way. Okay. Am I? Am I? Am I rebelling with him? what I call a hashtag result. Oh, we're now going on round two. No, that's not. That's not part of. Uh, that's not part of the plan. <laughs> but guys, I hope you enjoyed this Rainbow Six Siege map tour. Please let me know in the comments if you would like to see another map tour, and if so, what map tour that would be. We've actually got quite a lot of gaming content coming out in the next couple of days. Well, next couple of weeks. Uh, we've also got next week uh, the second member exclusive video, which I'm really looking forward to doing. So, lots of content coming out on the channel, and I hope you've enjoyed the Resident Evil 4 demo, and uh, I think we were streaming last night. So, yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the support recently on these videos and the Tesco meal deal. Glad to see that uh, you guys enjoyed in that arm oh, playing his finger, but I think I'll stop.